Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sitsuki, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to convert this cassette tape and convert it into a uh, MP3 uh, file, right? You need a uh, special cassette tape that has a uh, conversion. So it's actually this one I bought for 20 bucks at the source or in the US, I think it's known as uh, uh, Radio Shack. Okay, so it has a USB, it will connect it to a computer, and has a software, which I think you can get, this is an open source software, I believe. Uh, you can get it for free. You can just check this um, Auda City 2.0, I think it's high version now. Um, it's pretty good software, actually. Um, and uh, you can convert that file into, uh, you know, cassette tape into um, MP3 player. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. So again, you need to display. Now, if you don't have that, what you would need is a regular uh, cassette player and um, let's just get this um, a audio jack which is male to male right hook one to the um, cassette player like this here okay so you don't really have to buy the twenty dollars the one thing I like about this uh, twenty dollars um, mp3 conversion cassette uh, conversion to mp3 is that it comes with a USB cable and it, it converts directly to uh, digital. Whereas this way, this uh, method, you know, you don't have to purchase purchase anything except if you have your old cassette tape. Uh, you just need the um, male to male audio um, connector and connect to the, you know, on the computer there is a um, uh, mic jack. So just, you know, where you use it to communicate, right? Like using your microphone on your computer, just hook it up to there. I think I have one right here. Okay, I put it on my computer on the side here. So it depends. Just check on your um, computer. It should look like a you know micro microphone symbol, and then just play the cassette onto that, and it should work. Right now, again, you would have to load up the um, the software, and then choose the option you know through the. Um, your uh, audio card, right? You have to look for the audio card um, and then use the software. I'll show you how to do that, okay? The software itself, how to use it, uh, the simple way to do that, right? So that's one way. Now, some of you ask me, why would you even want to, you know, care so much about the cassette tape? Can you not just search the internet and find these songs? Well, no, you cannot. Some of these songs are very old and they're foreign songs. Like, for example, I listen to Chinese songs. I listen to Thai song, right? Especially this Thai song, for example, 1970s, you know, 40 years old. It's, see, this cassette tape is actually broken. Uh, and there's another video actually you can check up in the upper hand uh, corner and I'll show you how to fix it, okay? How to actually um, fix this cassette tape and then uh, convert it into MP3 player. So you need one step is if the audio tape, you know, the cassette tape is broken or not working properly, how to actually, you know, preserve it and then and put it on another uh, new cassette, and then then play it, and then convert it. Okay, that's the, another video you can check up uh, right up uh, upper hand corner. But anyway, yeah. So these songs are very old. Um, there's no way you can search on the net. By the way, language wise, how can you search for Thai Chinese song? All these old songs, most likely you won't be able to find them, especially they're you know not so famous um, singers, and the songs is not so famous songs, especially if it's a foreign song, right? So there's no way you can find it on the internet. You would have to go, um, you know, search locally in the country itself. Maybe you'll be able to find these cassettes, but that will cost you thousands of dollars. So forget that. So if you have the tape already, um, how to preserve this tape, right? And then convert it to MP3 uh, file so it lasts forever. Okay. So important. So these, uh, these, you know, cassette tape, you're never gonna be able to find it on the internet. You know, like there is a limit to search engine. You know that, right? So. There we go. We have this physical tape. We're gonna convert that. You know, we. By the way, we have moved uh, quite far. Uh, even before this cassette tape, there was other like the um, the vinyls. Remember the vinyls? And there's even. Um, I remember there was a, a, a not like a. It's similar to cassette tape. Um, it looks like those a uh, cartridge for you know the the you know Wii, you know the old not Wii sorry um, and Nintendo's right. You plug it in. It, there was one before this tape, and there was it, it existed. Uh, together and usually it's um, found in the car, right? I remember uh, in the 1960, 1970 car they used to put it in there, uh, similar to cassette tape. But anyway, okay. So that's um, those are technologies in the 1960s, um, uh, 70s, 
And then, you know, we have, remember the famous Walkman, uh, Sony, and then Iowa. I don't know if that company still exists. Right, and then, we, and then we move to this, oh, new advanced uh, CDs, right? We thought this is the best stuff ever made. You know, we have this uh, CDs, which po supposedly preserve the sound. and supposed to last forever, but, you know, recently if you check the internet, these uh, CDs, if it's scratched, it's not going to last that long either. You've got to be careful with it, too. Then, of course, we progress to the, you know, 1990s now, right? 2000, you have this uh, MP3 player, right? Um, yeah, uh, the the one thing I like about it is just plug it in. Um, you know, it doesn't actually it doesn't require that much battery power. You know, it's only um, one triple A battery, and you can you can play it for you know 10, 20 hours, uh, and uh, you can fit you know hundreds of songs in a one gig or two gig uh, um, memory MP3 player. Then of course you have the iPod and i uh, smartphone. The one I have, which now all my songs is in here, right? I like the smartphone because you can convert directly to MP3 player, right? All these cassette tape that I have and uh, CDs, and uh, I can play it along. So this is my main uh, music uh, device now because of the phone and a music device. So that's how we progressed to that, uh, you know, 2013, 2010, all the way to 2013. That's what we've been using. All the kids now knows about that. But you can see the progression. All right, now back to um, converting the... Uh, C, uh, sorry, the cassette to MP3 file. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, to, to use the uh, software, what you need to get uh, is a software uh, uh, editor, a sound editor. The, the one that I recommend, it's free. Uh, it's called Auda City, uh, the one I have, version 2.0. Just check on Google for this, uh, and you should be able to find and download it. Okay, another thing is you might have to also download the uh, MP3 uh, plugin. Uh, the lame L A M E. Okay, so once you hook up the uh, audio connector, there it goes. You start playing your uh, your song now because there's no external speaker. You won't be able to hear it. So what you have to do is you might have to you know play previous like a five second previously and then record it and then you can cut it off later, right? So let's try it. Let's see. Okay, so if once it's connected, this is a regular cassette tape, right? So if you don't want to buy that uh, MP3 connector. Uh, converter cassette which costs 20 bucks you have the old cassette player you can do it so what you need to do is just some um, like I said you would have to go to edit you zoom in okay. and go under preference and then choose the, um, under devices click on the microphone and choose the one that is found on your laptop or desktop Mine happens to be called Realtek um, uh, High Definition. Okay. Press OK, and then just press Record. Once you press Play on this cassette tape, okay, and then just press Record. Now you might have to adjust the volume, right? How do you know you do it right? So you go press Record, and you can see the graph is showing. And you don't want it to pass the above the bar here, right? So this is about right between. You have you want it between the uh, the two bar here, okay? So it's recording quite well. And how do you know the song stops? When you see, see this is flat, I can say that this song has just ended, all right? You can see that. Now a new song just started. You can see that, okay? Oop, you can see. It's coming, there we go, okay? So it just started. So it's ended and it start. Okay, so let's stop the, um, the recording, and I'll show you, okay? So from the very beginning, oops. Let's just play it. So it's not bad at all. Okay. So now you can preserve your song. Now it's stopped. Now if you want to, let's say if this part here, oops, if this part here, let's say it's a, um, you know, you don't want it too long between the two songs. And you can just using you know a cursor and highlight it and press delete on your keyboard or there's a button here you can just press um, it's look like a scissors but I use a key as delete button on the keyboard and they're gone it's gone okay so then uh, you know the time between the two songs is closer so let's say if you want to preserve the whole tape in one file which is averaging for about um, 45 minutes 30 to 30 to 45 minutes, I think it's around um, 30 to 45 meg 
of memory, which is pretty small nowadays, right? So you should be able to do that. And then for a whole tape, it may only be around 60 to 90 meg of memory that's required. Okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, so once you do that, you want you want to do is let me just zoom out here. You want to press file and save instead of save now you can save the project if you want to edit later or you can just press export now make sure when you do export that you have a uh, mp3 exporter file so you might have to go to for example under preference okay and uh, in your library let's say it didn't work let's say you can convert into mp3 play, uh, file you might have to go to the preference and under libraries you have to download the the the, um, the software called the um, the add-on anyway, uh, the plugin called Lame L A M E M P three, and download that. And once you download that, you press OK. It should work. And then now you have uh, this already. There's already a Lame M P three file installed in my um, my software in the Odyssey. Okay. So what I want to do now is export. Okay. You can export selection or export the whole thing. So I'm going to export the whole thing. And then you just type in the file name and you're done. Okay. So there we go. It's that easy. Okay. And that's how you do it. So neither you use a, uh, you know, buy one of these. Um, sorry, let's zoom out here. Oops. You buy one of these um, MP3, sorry, the cassette to MP3 converter, about 20 bucks. The only complaint I have is that the sound quality playing is not very good. Speaker, the advantage that has a speaker so you know what you're recording. Um, another advantage that it can it converts the analog to digital directly using USB cable, right? Um, yeah, and it runs on battery too. And also, it doesn't need actually it doesn't need battery. You can just when you hook up the USB, it actually runs directly through that without using a battery. Okay. Now, if you don't want to spend the twenty dollars, you can always get your old cassette tape. Right, the only thing you need is uh, is the audio connector, like I said, these two. Okay, male to male, connect one to your old cassette, where the headphone jack is, to the microphone jack on your computer, and load up the Odyssey software, and you're ready to go. And that's how you preserve your cassette um, tape to MP3. You know, you educatetube.com.